Good afternoon and welcome to St Lawrence's Chorley for this light classics recital entitled From Christmas to Candlemas. If you were here for one of our family services on Christmas Eve, um, then these rather funny masks will be familiar to you. It is a sign of the times that we live in, as is the fact that we're offering this to you virtually and not in person. But thank you for tuning in and being part of today's recital. Now, if you were here in St Lawrence's on the 27th of January 2019, you would have heard me give a recital from Christmas to Candlemas then. I'm not repeating the programme. One or two of the pieces are being repeated, but essentially it's a new programme. And very loosely, it's following music that figures at different seasons. So we're starting with Christmas. There are two pieces. One is a chorale prelude by Bach, and that's called Der Tag, Der ist so freudereich, translated, This day is so full of joy. Then we're going to the world of ballet and to a simple arrangement of the march from The Nutcracker by Tchaikovsky, arranged by Norman Warren. In years past, for me, no Christmas would be complete without a trip to the ballet. And this is the closest I'm going to get this year. So a Bach chorale prelude, followed by a short arrangement of the march from the Nutcracker.
Eight days after Christmas Day, we get to New Year's Day, which in itself isn't a particularly religious festival. Uh, for many years, New Year's Day has been seen as a day of prayer for world peace. And I think in every parish I've served, we've had a mass on New Year's Day, followed by a celebratory glass of something together. Unfortunately, on New Year's Day this year, we weren't able to have the celebratory glass of something together. And another thing which was different this year, if it's your habit to watch the New Year's Day concert from Vienna, uh, it took place, but there was no audience and it felt very odd watching it without there being an audience. But I've always been very keen to bring together um, a New Year's Day Mass, um, welcoming the new year with um, a glass of something. And I've been very lucky that where I've served in different places, the organist has finished the New Year's Day Mass with um, a bit of Johann Strauss, so that if you came to church and missed the concert, you got a bit of the concert at the end of the service. So here is Strauss's Radetzky March, arranged by Noel Warsaw. And so on the 6th of January, six days into the new year, we celebrate the feast of the Epiphany, the journey of the wise men to Jesus following the star. We've not been able to sing this Christmas, which has been a great sadness, but had we done, we'd have undoubtedly have sung the carol, we three kings of Orient are bearing gifts, we traverse afar. And so this is a little offering based on that carol.
Sunday following Epiphany in the church is the feast of the baptism of Jesus. And so with the theme of baptism and water, we now turn to Handel and the air from his water music. So from baptism to marriage, and the reason for marriage is that one of the Sunday Gospels we have during this Epiphany season is the story of the wedding at Cana in Galilee. Weddings have been very few and far between over these past months, but I'd like to dedicate this piece to two couples, Emma and Tom, and Abby and Joey, both of whom had big celebrations planned for their weddings uh, in St Lawrence's last year. Both have got married, neither in the manner in which they had expected, like everybody else who's had a wedding over these past months. So I'd like to dedicate it to them. And this piece is the um, Greek wedding day at Trald Hagen.
just in case anyone was thinking that with my left foot I was operating a percussion instrument uh, during that last piece. Um, there are some issues with the piano, I'm not blaming my tools, but um, it may well be that this piano has seen better days. It's certainly been put to extraordinary good use over many years. So if you're watching this and you've got a spare three or four thousand pounds, you just don't know what to do with it. If, um, if you'd like to, get in touch with me and we can uh, talk about providing us with a new piano. But um, if you don't ask, you don't get. This is the last piece that will fit into the liturgical um, subject of today's recital. On the 2nd of February, the church celebrates the Feast of Candlemas, also known as the Presentation of Christ in the Temple, and also known as the Purification of the Blessed Virgin Mary. I could have um, sung a version of the Nunc Dimittis to you, that Latin version of the Song of Simeon from the second chapter of St Luke, which forms the focus for Candlemas. But um, taking the angle that it's a feast of Our Lady as well, this final piece is the first of Bach's preludes. Um, you'll recognise it. Um, it's often set as Ave Maria with um, the melody over Bach's composition. Um, by um, Guno. So this is not the Bach, Guno, Ave Maria, it's how it first started, um, but of course it was associated with hymns to Our Lady and as you will have realised there's quite a lot of poetic licence in the theme of this recital. So the first of Bach's preludes in C major. And so the final piece from today is the Stars and Stripes Forever by John Philip Sousa. Last year, um, we celebrated the 400th anniversary of the sailing of the Mayflower from our country to America. We started a series of concerts last March, um, which were to take us through the year and were part of the Mayflower celebrations. Unfortunately, we didn't get any further than the concert at the very beginning of March. So although this doesn't feature in the liturgical calendar, um, I'm including it because of that close link we have with the United States of America. 
I'm including it because there are one or two American friends watching this, and so I have you in mind. And of course, despite all that's going on in our world at the moment, a new day has dawned for the people of America. And so for all of those reasons, Sousa's The Stars and Stripes Forever. Thank you very much for taking the time to share in this musical feast from Christmas to Candlemas today. We hope it won't be too long before we're able to welcome you back to concerts physically inside St Lawrence's Church, but for the meantime, we'll continue to offer once a month something online so that we keep our musical tradition going and we can keep you, our audience, entertained. So thank you very much for sharing in this. I hope you all stay safe and well and look forward to seeing you soon.